last par three contest as a Masters competitor? Uh, mm -hmm. Emotional, even though you know you'll probably be back playing this. Week. Yeah, I mean it won't be that emotional playing around here. I'm not even been thinking about it because I'll I'll come back next year and play here in the par three, but under different rules. I won't be competing in the the main tournament, but it's not a hard decision. I'm not going to get that emotional about it. It will be probably the last hole or so, thinking you know, thank God <laughs> I don't have to go out here for, because it's a beast of a golf course, and the young ones hit it ball so much further than me and. Uh, I suppose Nicholas said the same thing in forty and eighty six when he was forty six and I, I was lucky enough to be playing with him and he was basically classed as almost too old or over the hill and he proved everybody else he wasn't over the hill. I'm not expecting to do the same thing, but it's just uh, you know, age catches you up, the uh, club ed speed lowers down without you even trying sometimes and and then the course is getting longer and I'm getting shorter, not a good combination but the young ones are so good these days now that um, you know I can't really compete against them. Now, um, you're, you said last year you know, you're, you're going to have some more family. I guess your sons were going to be all be down this year. Is that yeah. so everyone's still here together? They're sure? pretty much. They're not all of them, but we've you know we've got quite a bit of the family here. So they've been around there today, and some other friends have come from far away from Scotland. So yes, it'll be nice coming up on Friday. Whatever the weather might be, I think we're going to have some indifferent weather, but. Uh, I'm looking forward to it, um, competing tomorrow, and then we'll see how we go. Now, um, mm. I, I heard you and Larry got pretty emotional last night at the dinner. Um, I, I was okay. Was like? uh, the one guy I thought was going to be even brilliant was going to be Larry Myers because, you know, he's used to speaking to people, a man of the church, whatever you want to say. He's done lots of readings and that, that, that. I thought he'll have no problem at all. And he clammed up like a clamshell. I mean, he just stood up there and <coughs> had a glass of water and <coughs> another glass of water. And we all went, <whistles> but you know, he obviously, you know, we've all got feelings. You know, he's tough enough to win a Masters, but you know, when it comes to that kind of emotional thing, we've we've all got feelings. And you know, he's he's going to be very emotional going down the last few holes, I'm sure. And I will be as well, but I maybe don't show it as much as he does. Did you hear Freddie a couple of days ago called uh, you one of the beautiful people? Uh... <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, well, that's up to them, <laughs> whatever they decide. I don't go out there promoting my beautiful people. But I think uh, I've always tried to treat everybody with dignity, no matter what race or whatever they are. Because when you play in Europe, you play with all sorts. Koreans to, you know, Africans, <laughs> South Africans, you know. So you just treat everybody the same. Golf's a great level and that's the, it brings everybody together. Did you notice the kind of that, that was kind of the vibe last night? I mean, everyone, regardless of everyone's differences. Oh, regardless of all the different things that's been said in the last week or so, it was went off without a hitch. No, there was nothing from Gary Player or whatever or Mickelson. It was all very hush-hush and just went as, as normal. And then lastly, um, besides the tequila, uh, what was the best part of, of Scotty's kind of message or kind of hosting, hosting duties last I night? I think just generally everybody enjoys the food. I mean, I never really had a bad food there yet. I mean, it's a, I had the soup and I had to sort of swab the top of my head because it was perspiring. And I like hot food. I'm used to curries and things like that, so I'm not too bad. But I think uh, I think couples were like holding these throat. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> so it caught a few people by surprise. I think we needed some more yogurt out there and stick some yogurt in it, and that would have calmed it down. But. I suppose it's a little bit like when I had haggis, you know, a lot of people didn't know what haggis was from Scotland, so there was a lot of dishes going back still full. <laughs> Tiger didn't have any haggis. Though. No, no, he had cheeseburger, he took it safe. <laughs> awesome, All right, cheers.